How many people are in the room right now? How many? Yes. Can you count how many people are in the room right now? Can you give me a number, please? I can't count. So, I figure what we'll do is we'll start back there in the hanging man's room. Okay. Uh, just second thing we have the Eddie set up back there anyway. Yeah, the Eddie is set up actually in the closet okay, where so the supposed person hung himself. So, I guess what we can do is just go ahead and kind of get some baseline readings and everything. Yeah. And then maybe try and communicate with the, the spirit here. So, we have the our Eddie meter set up in here and this just records environmental data for us to look at later after the investigation is done to see if we find any correlations between our evidence and environmental factors that may have happened. Yeah, I mean it records anything from barometric pressure, humidity, uh, electromagnetic field, vibration. Really it's a complete multi-tool for the paranormal and probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment that we have. So the story here is that again all this is hearsay at this point a lot of the records are either hidden or missing or anything like that. But when this was a flop house, obviously low cost, uh, low cost rent for long term stays. There's a lot of violence and gambling and drug use that would happen. And when ultimately, if you wanted to end your life, this was a prime place to go because um, unfortunately, a lot of it was forgotten to history. Yeah. Uh, but this supposedly was a closet where a man who was down on his luck and I guess decided. The easy way out was the best way, and so he decided to hang himself right there. Very tragic, unfortunate. I could never imagine going through that. But if you will, does see if is there any readings that you can catch on the mail meter in there? Um. Everything seems to be pretty steady. No EMF spikes or temperature fluctuations. Yeah, I mean, there's really not a lot of power to this building anyway. No. Um, I think the, the breaker box is just right over here, though, so it's something to remember. Okay. Uh, so I guess we'll just go ahead and get the recorder going, set up some of the gear, and yeah. try and interact with this guy, figure out what his name is. Where do you want to put that trip wire? We will put it right here uh, in front of the, both of these thresholds. Okay. So this is basically a EMF meter. Um, it indicates electromagnetic fields by sounding an alarm and lighting up this rope light that's connected to the module right here. Yeah, it's a lot, it acts a lot like this room pod. Exactly, yeah. So if something were to touch it, it would light up. We've never used this piece of equipment before, so we're kind of excited to try it out tonight. Correction, he's never used this piece of equipment before. We used it when he decided not to go to Ross <coughs> Opera House with us. Go ahead and set this rim pod right here. Go ahead and start recorder. It is 918. We are at the Anderson Hotel in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. This is Cameron, Jimmy, Adam, and Owen. I've got the recorder placed beside the rim pod. All right, are you on airplane? I think it's me. I don't have my phone with me. So I'm currently on airplane. I'm willing to bet that was just my phone. Could have been, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have a seat. There's another chair right here, Jimmy. So we got our cat ball and place that right there. I don't have anything to dampen the vibration on it though. So 
If there's anybody in here with us, my name's Cameron. I'm Jimmy. We're joined by a couple of our friends, Adam and Owen. They're the ones holding the cameras. We're not here to hurt you. We're here to just find out your story. Um, I'm distracted right now by the music playing yeah. outside. I think there is a restaurant, bar, and grill below us. I have no idea. Adam, can you hear it much on the... So, we're probably going to be getting a lot of noise. A little bit. Uh, noise contamination. So just mark that on the recorder to make sure. Is there anybody in here with us? We've got a lot of different pieces of equipment that you can interact with on the ground there. If you get really close to it and touch it, it'll light up. It'll make a noise. It's not going to hurt you. Nothing that we brought will hurt you. All we want to do is we just want to know your name. Can you tell me what your name is? What does this build remind you of, Jimmy? It reminds me a lot of a location in uh, Central City, Kentucky, called Wilden Manor. That's a place we, we pretty much cut our teeth at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just got, you know, it's, the way it's laid out, it seems like it was built in the same era, maybe the 1930s, 1920s. Very very similar history yep. with the boarding house. And boarding house drugs. Yep. A lot of tragedy that happened there. Do you know what year it is? What's your connection to this building? We need to remember too that there's a lot of tin foil and stuff on the windows and it is a little bit windy tonight, so. Yeah, so a lot of small, you know, tapping sounds that we hear, we, we just have to we just have to eliminate them. Can you make a sound? Can you tap on the wall? Let us know where you're at. Let us know that you're here. Take this off. Is it true that someone ended their life right here in this closet? What prompted you to do that? We are right next to the whiskey, whiskey man room also. Uh, right. I don't know much about that other than the fact that the person who supposedly stayed in that room loved whiskey. And I don't know if they found that out through investigating or if that was someone they actually knew. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, unknowns with the uh, history here. So that's one obstacle we're kind of working with. Yeah, I mean, we, we couldn't really find anything. We did a lot of digging. So we have, we have no names. Yeah. All we know is that there were supposedly three suicides up to about 10 more deaths, what be it murder, natural suicide, uh, natural death. Yeah, a lot of nasty stuff happened here. Do you so, know? No, you can continue. Do you know the Muffin Man? No, do you know who? I was really expecting you to do the. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? Yes, the one on Drury Lane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? Who's responsible for biting the guests that have come through here? Can you tell me why they did that? Just heard a loud, loud bang outside. I don't know if that'll pick up on the recorder or not. Can you touch one of us?
Can you do anything? Anything, just let us know that you're here. I'll show you how to interact with some of our devices we have. If you just get close to this, it'll light up. And also make a little chirping noise. If you get close to this, the numbers will increase, indicating there's an electromagnetic field around that device. We also have another device here you can interact with. It's called a REM pod. If you get close to that little antenna, it'll light up. We also have cat balls here. If you can manipulate this, move it however you want, these will also light up. That was Jimmy. I do think later in the night we can put a few of our pieces of gear out in the hallway. Okay. And just kind of, because remember, because it reminds us a lot of Wood Manor, yeah. a lot of our interaction happened in the hallway. In, like the, more of the common areas of the building. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I would just set up just a bunch of pieces of equipment down there and just see what sort of interaction we can get, be it music box, laser grid. I agree. With pod, you. Anything. I think we should. Use that tactic here too. Yeah. But like so far, the time we've been here, we've been here two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I haven't felt uncomfortable, which oh, no. completely contradicts everything I ever heard about the building. Yep. You walk in, apparently it's like this overwhelming presence and heavy feelings and everything, but I haven't felt anything. Yeah, and it's interesting because, I mean, we know from experience, Locations, it varies day by day. Activity and things that happen. This building looks like it goes, you know, it could go dormant for this time of year for whatever reason, we don't know. But it could also be that maybe later in the night is when activity starts to kick up. Yeah. We'll just have to see and hopefully Owen or Adam one can get bit or pushed or anything violent. Yeah. That'd be good for content. As long as it's not me. What, you don't want to get touched? No. Wimp. Well, it's hard to explain that stuff to the court. You're all about that <laughs> love and peace, aren't you? No. And I did bring, whenever we do go to Whiskey Man, I did bring some whiskey. Just as like an offering of some sort to him. It's kind of weird when you say it like that, but yeah. That's what the man loved. You can't really fault him for that. It's somewhat like a trigger object, right? Or an offering. Yeah. But yeah, mostly a trigger object. Okay, cool. Just, on the record, somebody is singing outside. Yeah, it sounds like karaoke, and they do not sound good at all. They sound terrible. Well, if nothing happens in the next couple hours, we'll go down there and join them. <laughs> If you had to sing a karaoke song, what would you sing? Um, I don't know. Probably some Katy Perry stuff. You're a big Katy Perry fan? No. <laughs> you just know more Katy Perry than anything yep. else? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think I'd go with some Ted Swift. She's the some idol. Drake. Drake, every time I drink, I always automatically know the lyrics to Drake songs. So I don't know why. I've it's got some alcohol. Thing. We can test that theory right now. I mean, if you want to hear some bad rapping, yeah. That's most rap, isn't it? True. It's all. Yeah, it's definitely karaoke. I don't know. Can you hear that on the audio, Adam? <laughs> can you hear that, Owen? It's not picking it up too much. But can you hear it, though? It's an occasional spike. But... <laughs> like yeah. that right there. You can hear that, though. That one yeah. I think we should just go film them instead. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I feel like all this video is trash. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good practice run. We're yeah. practicing. We're, we're practicing for. I will say this is like a really cool shot. So I think that I like having the, the light. I like having the light. It just looks more professional. 
cool. Like, it feels like we're a TV show. We need you to, like I said, we're not here to hurt you. I, I think you're here. All we want to do is we just want to talk to you. How do you feel about the haunted house they run here? I think we should go out in the hallway. Yeah. I kind of, do you want to bring the eddy meter out there? Yeah, if we can. It doesn't have to be stationary. Okay. Yeah. We'll bring the eddy with us. So we'll go out there and then maybe we try some live EVP. I don't know how well. Yeah. We could do, uh, you know, one and two minute segments. All right, Owen. Do you know where we're, do you know where we're going to right now? Are we going to the suicide room? We sure are. All right. What's very interesting is that allegedly, this is the bed that was here when the 19 year old girl um, slit her wrist and then allegedly again, the stain on the bed is from where she bled out. Um, is this where you're sleeping tonight? It is not. I will not be sleeping on this bed. Uh, what's crazy is that we were thinking earlier, so this happened in 1984. This has now been 20, well, no, 40 years, we said. Mm -hmm. It's been 40 years um, since this happened. So, in theory, this bed has been here for 40 years and hasn't moved. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You're not as enthused as I... As we thought I'd be. As I was hoping yeah. for, but that's okay. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> cool. All right, so... Should we start like just asking some questions first, or do you want to do the Estes method first? What do you want to do? Um, I'm always down to do the Estes method. <laughs> Estes method first. Okay. Um, well, why don't chairs. you set that up? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a K2 on the bed just for. Put it on, put it on the sheet. I'll put it so it's facing kind of up. I wish there was a. There is a hook right here. We could pop it on. Oh. What was that? That's me. My okay. knee, my knee hit it. <laughs> How does this turn on? That was loud. Oh yeah, stop, stop yelling at me. That work? Nope. How do I turn the ringer off, man? There we go. Technical difficulties. All right, this is Adam and Owen. We are in the suicide room here at the Anderson Hotel setting up in Warrensburg. Down. We are setting up to do an Estes method um, with Owen on the headphones and Adam on the ones and twos. There we go. Had to get that extended on. I want to place the recorder um, on this metal it's thing. Like a bookshelf maybe? I'm not really sure what it is. And then for funsies, I do have a cat ball. I really think we should change the name of this. We'll call it the Paraball. You do know if you have two of them, it's called the Paraballs. Donut. I like the Paraball. We didn't bring the blindfold, did we? What are you yelling for? You ain't gotta yell. The blindfold is back. You want me to go get it? Thanks for answering. You know, I've never worn one of these before. Can you hear me? Cool. All right. Again, my name is Adam. This guy over here, his name's Owen. I'm sure you've seen people come in here asking questions that are dressed like us or acting like us. We're just here to hear what you have to say. We have all these crazy tools and gadgets that allow us to be able to make out what you're trying to tell us. We're not here to harm you. Hopefully you're not scared or threatened by us. 
but I do want to start with, um, can you tell me what your name is? I know the story, allegedly, the lady that lived in this room a long time ago, you got to the point where you didn't want to live anymore. And ultimately, you took your life, allegedly, on this bed right here in front of us. You were only 19 years old. You had such a long life ahead of you. If you don't want to talk, that's fine, but I would really appreciate to know why. Why did you feel that was the time that you needed to end it all? Was there some other reason or was there, was something telling you that you needed to end your life? Maybe something negative, demonic? I like your pictures that you have on the wall behind your bed. I noticed all those are Bible verses. Around you. Who's around me? Are you in here with us right now? Everybody. Well, that could be accurate. But I really want to talk to the lady that passed away in this room. Is she here? Turn around. Is she behind me? Or is there someone else behind me? Found it. Can you tell me what your name is? No, damn it. Okay, respect that. Can you tell me what my name is then, since I've already told you? If you don't want to talk, there's some stuff over there laying on the bed. You can touch it. You can move it. Can you go over there and touch or move one of those devices sitting on the bed right now? If you do, it's just it's not going to hurt you. It's just going to let me know that you are in here with us. Hey, baby. That's a new one. I really hope that was a commercial on the radio. <laughs> How many people are in the room right now? How many? Yes. Can you count how many people are in the room right now? Can you give me a number, please? I can't count. Okay. Um, wow, I don't even know how to respond to that. Um, are there more than one spirit in the room right now besides you, or is it just you? There's more. Okay. Are all the spirits that are in the room, are they, are they good or are they bad spirits?
Orange. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Do you see the color on our shirt? Is that what you're talking about? If you're still in here, can you, can you touch one of those devices that's sitting on the bed for me, please? All it's going to do is light up. It doesn't hurt you. I know it takes a lot of energy for you to do that. But if you just touch it barely, it's going to light up. Have you left the room? Is there still anyone in here with us? That was me. Yep. So, some very interesting stuff. We got some like pretty direct responses, um, which was kind of crazy. Hold this down. Uh, so, like one of the questions I asked was, like, who's in the room? I think is what I said, uh -huh. and it and you said everybody, and then I said, can you? count how many people are in the room and then, then you said I can't count right. like immediately after that which was pretty crazy so what was, what was up with the it was like orange I was like that's a weird one but yeah well you know. Cameron pointed to his shirt so I don't know if maybe they were talking about our oh, shirts man. have or, well y'all shirts have orange on them yeah um but then it just like went silent like I asked several questions and then no I, answer so I don't know if they left or um we got no activity on the K2 or, or the Parabol, that's its new name. Oh, nice. I'm going to trademark that. So, um, cool. that's pretty cool though. We got some pretty direct responses in here. I like when that so happens. it seems like that maybe the SS method is like the way to go here, like for this location. Cause you know, like every location you go to, there's, there's, there's usually one method that works better than another. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe now would be a good opportunity for maybe Cameron and Jimmy to try that, maybe. Down the hallway, maybe? Yeah, or try it this in, in the here? hallway. Uh, do you think she might still be in here? She? I don't know. I don't know if it's her. I think it's someone else. I don't think it's her. I think let's... let's do you want to run? Let's try it in the hallway, just to see. And if not, maybe come back in here. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let you guys give it a go because I don't want to put that. I don't want to put it on my eye because it's not that good. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was just cool. I was like, yeah, whatever, man. Put that thing on. All right, cool. Cool. Let me know when you're ready, Cameron. He can't hear you. Woo! He can't hear you. All right, good. Hello, my name is Jimmy. That's Cameron down there. We're going to try to talk with you uh, using a different method. Cameron has a... Trying too much. Okay. Let me explain to you so you know. Cameron has a box that... Hardships can, are there. That you can speak through different frequencies. Whatever I ask, I want you to t tell Cameron the answer. How many spirits are in this hallway? Not gonna lie, I just heard the word devil. Devil. You're gonna have to be a little more specific than that. From what we've been told, there have been, we know of the Whiskey Man, 
the hanging man. It is also a. Do you know? Do I know what? Can you please give me one name of someone in this hallway with us right now? Hold up. What's going on? Something just touched my back. Like, there's a pressure, like, point, like pushing into my back. You know what? Mm. I want to stay right here. I'll be right back. Like, literally, it felt <laughs> like turn around for a second. Like, right here, it just goes. That's weird. There's a lot of heavy Toto uh, Africa playing, too. <clears throat> it was hard for me not to sing during that. In the spirit box? Yeah. I'm going to turn the spirit box back on, and I'm going to do reverse sweep. All right. I'm not going to lie, when it said, do you know, I thought it was going to say the Muffin Man. It might have. You never know. So, we don't really know the history of this building. Would you be able to tell us what... Got it, one. What'd it say? What'd it say, Adam? Got one. It seems like you're uh, basically ignoring what I'm trying to ask. Is that true? I'm back here. What's your name? I need to know who I'm talking to. Seems like you're being real dodgy with my questions. Has there ever been a homicide in this building? Look up. Oh, shit. Uh, Take me home? Room three. What room is that? Whiskey. I think that was radio, though. Whiskey man room. <clears throat> what the f***? Did the whiskey man get homicided? That's what it said. Really? They can't say that on radio, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Are you surprised? What? The light? I'm not even joking. I just saw... My leg is very cold. Something just lifted the... Something just lifted the jail. Like the jail Bedroom. The jail completely lifted up. Oh, shit. I don't what? know if it was the wind. Intrude. Are you feeling something beside you? Did you get on camera? Are you feeling something beside you? No, I felt something right behind me, like stomp. So that the jail just lifted up in the air. Do you I, get on camera? I literally, I literally just saw it. Like the whole jail just lifted up in the air. Do we get it on video? I don't. The video's pointing at you. <laughs> All right, let's 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 go back to what we were doing. We're seeing. Do you want to? You, you want swap? <laughs> <I'll> swap. Here <laughs> <laughs> you go, Jimmy. I don't know, but there's no, is there any breeze coming? Like, I literally saw the jail, like, it lifted off the floor. There's no breeze. No breeze. No breeze at all. That was weird. All right, yeah, I'll give it a try. Whatever. <laughs> you want to sit over there? <laughs> and there's no way they could have, like, I mean, seems like no reading all that activity here. Was, was, it, was it anything it running up at least? See what, yeah. I mean, hey. Can we uh, move the jail down here and I'll do it down here? Or do you want to do it right there to reenact if I'm getting the same experiences? Yeah, if you're, that's a good idea. Get the same experiences down there. Yeah. I think, <clears throat> yeah, that's us. Well, I mean, whatever, well, it could be whatever's from that room, though. Well, I did say, 
has there has there ever been a homicide here? And it said look up. So I looked up and I saw room three. That was the whiskey man's room. I don't know if he got murdered or what. I don't know how he got. I don't know. Then it said take me home, but you thought it was the radio. Yeah, it's how he worked. Now, when I heard what the f I was like, no, that's something <laughs> it was like yelling what the f <laughs> All right. All right, have fun, Jimmy. <laughs> Do, do we need to reset the jail? Jail's still good. I think it's still fine. I just saw it like lift up. Like it was. Like... God, this thing's so loud. It is. I don't. Whose room is that? Let's get whiskey, man. All right, let me know when you're ready. All right, hold me tight records 10 19. I'm going to sweep forward and backwards. So the recorder right beside me. Set it up right like that. There we go. All right, I'm good, Jimmy. Can you hear me? Yeah, what's the sweep rate you had on? Uh, which is whatever is already on. It should be at 300. So you're doing for me. All right. <coughs> All right, putting on the headphones. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. All right. Jimmy, can you hear me? Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. Fobimmy. FIFA. Fofimmy. Jimmy. Who was it that touched me in the back? Was it the same person who affected our light down there? Can you touch Jimmy in the back like you touched me? Are you telling me to shh? Are you guys trying to sleep? What town are we in? What's your favorite drink? Do you not want me talking? In the road. What happened in the road? Are you currently in the road? Which wouldn't make much sense if you're in here talking to us. Did something happen to you in the road? Or someone you know? It's done. What's done? Can you be more specific? How many people are here? I'm gonna hold up a set of numbers on my fingers. Can you tell Jimmy how many fingers I'm holding up? Kid? Is there a kid here? Or are you calling me a kid? Psst. Scared the shit out of me. Is there someone trying to whisper in Jimmy's ear? Something, I can't, is there, is there a breeze coming back from back behind me? No, but I just saw something. Because I, I felt like, like a gust of air on my neck. It was right above your head. Oh, that's, that's fine. Are you behind me? Better worry. What do we need to worry about? No. I need you to say more than that. All I'm trying to do is tell your story. Who am I talking to? I 
How many of us are here right now? Out. We're not leaving yet. What room number are you in? Who runs this building? Stop. Stop talking? Is that what you want me to do? That was weird. Sounded like uh, old saloon music. Is that the type of music you like? That's the funny saloon music in the corners of things. Yeah. A shadow of a doubt. Did you ever play cards? What was your game of choice? Shh. I think I heard that before he did it. It was a shh. Really? It wasn't me? No, it was Brian. I don't understand why you're shushing me. I have whiskey. I brought some with me. Do you want it? Go down there and whisper into Jimmy's ears what your name is. I'm going to turn the sweep forward. Can you knock on the wall for me? What was that? Adam, I hope it was you. That was, okay. <laughs> Can you knock on a wall when Adam gets situated? Route. You're not making any There's. sense. There's what? Do it again. I'm asking you to do it again. Can you knock on the wall? Evil. Who's evil? I just turned the sweep rate to a uh, hundred, so it sounds like I'm getting responses a little bit quicker. Is that why it's evil? Because it's three words faster? What's your name? The dog. Are you talking about the dog that was here earlier? Roach? Adam, are you laughing? I'm sorry. <laughs> about what? The dog. It's a dog named Roach. Oh. <laughs> Is there a dog in here with us right now? I can't tell if that's tinfoil back here. Is there somewhere you want us to go? Did you hear that? Is that it again? I think so. I think it's music. Yeah. That first one wasn't. Cause that first one was right beside me. Yeah. Was that Jimmy answering? Yeah. yeah. I think it. I think it's the dog. Yeah, because the first one was literally right here. Did you figure out how close it was? I heard it from that. Yeah, because I, you know, like when you hear certain sounds, you can almost like hear the vibration of it. That's sort of what happened there. Speak. Can you speak?
I need you to do something. Anything. Because right now I'm not too impressed. Can you touch one of us? Can you knock my hat off my head? It's not me breathing, is it? I don't know how well Adam can hear that, but. Adam, can you hear us? No. And I can hear the people singing. Oh, that's going to be fun. All right. Can, can you repeat after me? We're gonna we're gonna end this, but I need you to count after me. One. You gotta say it to where Jimmy can hear it. One. What difference does it make? That was a long that was over like that was over like ten sweeps. It makes a big difference. <clears throat> Two. Are you going to repeat after me or no? I don't think you can. Three, we're going to end the session cold. now. Cold. What? It is cold. We're going to end the session. You have one more chance to say something. Speak into Jimmy's ear as loud as you can. Say what you want to say. Figure it out. Female. Okay. We'll figure it out now. We're going to end this session. Ending EVP. the word in red. Warning. No shit.